In this video, we're going to go ahead and set up our animation to play while we keep the lower body animations as well. So this is going to be our lower body, so I'm going to name it to lower body because that has everything by default. And then I want to make a new state machine, so I'm going to copy and paste. This is going to be the upper body. Now in the upper body we have our idle, you know, forward and run. So we pretty much have that in a blend space. I'm just going to delete that and add our flashlight animation to it. And then I want to leap, leave the jumping all the same. So we need a way to blend these. And thankfully there's already a node for us called layered blend per bone. And we want to set, I can't remember which one it is. It's either the upper and the lower. Okay, I got that backwards. So lower body goes to the top, upper body goes to the bottom. There we go, I think. And then we click on layered blend per bone, layer setup, drop it down, we're gonna add a new filter, and then the bone name. So we wanna go to the skeleton, and we want it to be spine underscore 01, because if we click on the pelvis, we rotate everything. If we click on spine underscore 01, we have the upper body. So we're gonna use spine underscore 01, and I'm trying to think what the blend depth. Uh, I'll just leave it as one because it's pretty much playing. Yeah, it's playing the correct animation. And then was it this guy to rotate? Yep. And then we check mesh space rotation blend. So that way it's facing the correct direction. So now when we run around, Probably he looks like a dork, but <laughs> we have our flashlight set up, and we're good to go there. So now everybody can see Oops, wrong guy again, and see their flashlights getting Get the camera some turned on and off. Everything is replicated. No matter if you're the client or the server. This looks so stupid. But we are pretty much good to go. So we now have a working replicated flashlight that will stay in sync regardless of what really happens because we're using a replicated variable to control the actual replication of the flashlight or the on or off portion of the flashlight. So that's going to make it so it's just very simple and all it really... So no matter what, so like if we, let's say we have a server, we have one player in it, the player turns off their flashlight from when it's on by default, so it's now off, client 2 joins the server after this has happened, they're going to see, because they're going to receive the replication, that the flashlight is actually off. So it's going to, the state of the flashlight is going to stay the same through all clients, and that's what we want. We don't want it to be out of sync between, you know, one or two clients. That's obviously a problem. So anyways, that's going to be it for this series. I hope you learned a little something. It's more beginner focused and I'm trying to uh, I'm trying a new approach to this. I'm trying to do a bunch of small mini series dedicated just to individual features instead of these long drawn out series like the Nazi zombie tutorial series for example which had like I don't know that had what 50 something hours or maybe a little bit more and 239 videos and it's still not really even done. Not many people are going to make their way all the way to the end of that. <laughs> so hopefully you enjoyed it. If you have any questions or anything like that, obviously there's a link to my uh, Discord in the description. You can find a link down there for all the assets used in this video, especially this amazingly done running animation or idle pro. I don't know what you want to call it. I'm not an animator. I don't care for it. But yeah. If you like what I'm doing, you want to support me, there's also a link to my Patreon down there where I have a full tutorial series where we create Team Deathmatch in C++ with Unreal Engine, where you can follow along with, where we do a bunch of other features as well. The other major one being a weapon customizer, so you can customize your own gun, add attachments, remove them, etc. And yeah, that is it. I will see you in the next series of whatever it ends up being. So if you have any requests or anything like that, 
feel free to post them down below. I'm trying to do small things first, and then I'll gradually do more and more complex and longer tutorials on more advanced topics. So, see you in the next one.